hello guys so i hope everyone is safe in their home and today i need to complete this uh, big keeping appliances or equipments so in this video we are going to understand what are the equipments used while handling those bees so first we will understand the boxes the beehives then we will go for each and every equipments used in this apiculture so this may come as a short question these beehives okay were designed after the discovery of bee space this one is important bee space or bee passage by what by whom L. L. Langstroth okay he first discovered this B space so first come to this what is B space you see two frames are over here and this space present in between this is called as what the B space this one this space or this space this space these are what universal and uniform okay so now you understand what is the B space this space is too too small for com construction in between to these two frame this space is too small that they cannot construct a new comb okay and it is also too large for propolis deposition and so that at a time two bees here you see At a time, two bees can move in between that easily. There won't be any difficulty, but more than two cannot go inside or outside from this bee space. Too small to construct a comb, too large to allow two bees to move at a time. That one is what bee space. Generally, in case of Indian bees, as you know, Epicerina indica, the space is 7 to 9 millimeter. And in case of Italian bees, that is 10 millimeter. So, previously what was happening, they were just domesticating bees in the open space. That means they were not domesticating, bees were coming, they were constructing their combs, they were storing their honey and simply what we are doing, simply we are damaging them, killing those bees and we are hunting those honey. But now what is happening, this is the noble way okay, of innovation of bee keeping having some several advantages here high volume can be increased or decreased based on the need easy to assess food store position bees can be fed artificially brood development can be effectively monitored artificial queen rearing is possible we can multiply old and damaged combs can be removed as we are taking this epicerana indica or epis mellifera they always construct what parallel combs unlike epistrosta who are constructing single open comb not like that here they will construct parallel combs many combs will be there generally seven in case of epicerana indica so here we can remove or discard those old combs which are more susceptible towards those um, wax moth the natural enemies Okay, old combs are susceptible towards wax moth. Bees can be easily observed with least disturbance. They can not be disturbed while observing. Honey can be extracted without damaging the combs. More honey can be extracted by giving more honey supers. Okay, so these are the points. Basically what happens, instead of honey hunting, we will go for domesticating the bees. We will extract the honey without damaging neither bees nor the comb everything will be there simply we will take the surplus food we won't damage them we won't take their food we will give them food whatever surplus surplus food that is the honey they are producing those things we will take okay this is what we domesticating okay then come to the boxes the tools will start now these boxes are painted externally will last longer okay 
it can be white blue yellow green whatever it may be generally white is preferred is they will reflect the temperature some radiations and it increases the corona efficiency in materials means what generally made up of this wood teak kyle tune or sometimes mango also can be mango plants can also be used okay then the thickness of the wooden uh, walls are 20 millimeter this uh, specific length thickness those things are not required that much for your understanding only it is there it is not required that much then tights are there okay newton's hive bis hive and marthendum hives were there for rearing indian bees langstroth hives are suitable for rearing the italian bees okay so bis what is bis bureau of indian standards all the boxes are standardized universal length universal thickness universal this uh, breadth will be there so bis a type b type c type will be there in case of a type space will be 7 or 8 mm number of frames will be 10 4 8 but generally 8 will be there for this indian bees b type b space is 9 mm 10 8 or 4 generally 8 only apis rana indica c type 10 mm generally frames will be 10 numbers for apis mellifera generally these four are present in case of what nucleus box for division of the colony we, we have to take four frame boxes similarly in case of apis mellifera that will be taken as six frames okay isia or bis a type of boxes are generally used in our conditions okay So now let us start from the box this is the box present in our apiary you see so this one is the stand you see how previously they were using some bamboo sticks they were using as a stand this one is the bottom board above bottom board what will be present this brood chamber okay above brood chamber what will be there sometimes queen gate may be required this is the queen excluder not queen get queen excluder we are excluding the queen from super chamber above that what will be kept this super chamber okay above that this top cover will be there but in between this super chamber and top cover one more cover will be there that one is what inner cover this one this one is an inner cover it will be kept above this super chamber above that this top cover will be placed. This hood may or may not be required, that is according to our beautification, or in summer season we can use to decrease the temperature like that conditions. But generally, that is not a part of the box, it is a additional part. So, what are the things from top to bottom? You tell first will be top cover, then come to inner cover, then come to super chamber. Okay, super chamber then queen excluder it may or may not be there not always essential then blue chamber then bottom board then the stand has to be used here the picture is of 10 frames but this one is our 8 frame episode and indica colony this one is the 10 frame episode colony okay so now come to the parts of the high part of the box first one is what this bottom board okay this is our bottom board used in our apiary so you see this is the what floor of the hive it is the mechanical it is giving mechanical protection from the bottom surface okay so on this the bees may crawl upon whatever the extra material will be there they will fall on they, they will clean that one on their own again you see this structure this one is what this entrance okay b entrance removable b entrance you see here two constriction or slit are there or two holes are there these holes are actually called as what b entrance suppose we want more bees will 
move through this then this will be kept outwardly or if sometimes if rubbing will be there food stealing will be there then what will happen simply we will invert this one so that what will happen this person will be exposed inside and this slit will expose to outside so that only one or two bee can enter and go up not more than that according to our requirement we can use the bee entrance and this one you see this is the worst condition the bottom board is totally filled with dark material that's why time to time in every 7 to 10 days we have to go for cleaning the bottom board okay then come to the brood chamber okay you see this one is the brood chamber its size is double that of super chamber okay why it is required in these chambers in these frames brood frames those broods will be there those adults will be moving here and there queen will be there along with that the broods will be there you see this is a brood frame which consists of so many adult of worker and drones and some other things are there so in a brood chamber you see what will be the components upper layers will be filled with honey okay below that some layers will be with pollen below that all will be what broods broods means what three things will be there egg larva pupa you see this this these are what eggs you see this material is known as what the egg thread like substance then come to the larva c cell c cell larva this one is the c cell larva these are what apodos they don't have legs and simply they will be fed by the nurse bees then this cappings you see these are the cappings present over here these are what the pupa this is the pupa this pupa is called as what exeret type of pupa is their body appendages are free here you see the legs other joints are free that's why they are what exeret pupa just like coleopteran insect then come to super chamber you see bottom board brood chamber above that what is there super chamber you see the height half of this brood chamber again brood frame will be there super frame will be there these are also half the length of the height of this super chamber will be half of the height of the brood chamber so why brood chamber is required so that bees will come queen will lay their eggs from eggs larva will come larva to they will become pupa again they will become adult and they will store their food in term of honey and bee bread those pollen will become bee breads for their feeding in super chamber what will happen only they will store the honey okay after storing the honey while they will store the immature or raw honey the honey will be having more water concentration that's why what they will do they will beat their wings throughout this comb so that those honey will reduce their water concentration it will become mature honey then they will seal that one you see these are sealed cappings will be there again before harvesting what we will do again we will go for decapping here the caps will be decapped here then we will throw a extractor we will extract the honey through centrifugal motion this centimeter element and then those specification are not required it won't come in the exam at last what is this one the top cover here, here you see one hole is there both the opposite side also hole will be there that means this hole should be along with the b entrance okay it should not be opposite it is always in a parallel way they must come why this one for ventilation this hole is given then come to this top cover you see one galvanized iron or aluminum foil is there which will protect it from rain the wood will be protected and why it is required this top cover is acting as a or functioning as a mechanical barrier which will protect the box from mechanical injuries or some abiotic climatic factors may be prevented by this 
top covers adverse effect can be prevented now frames generally we are using eight frames both in brood chamber and super chamber and they will be kept parallelly suppose brood chamber frames are like this means super chamber frames also will be kept like this parallelly not like this okay always they will be kept parallelly over and over okay here we see in this picture we can clearly observe what is the length this is half of this brood chamber this is the half of this brood chamber okay here honey is there here broods are there super frame with honey having no broods brood frame with honey having broods so i hope all of you understood what is super frame what is brood frame and what are the things to be kept in which frame okay super frame with honey having no brood brood frame with honey having broods also pollen will be there okay along with that also pollen will be there okay which will be taken by the worker bees inside the box and they will mix it with honey to make it bee bread and they will feed it to the their broods their larva okay so these are the things again adult also can take the foods so after this this apiary kit is there i will tell in the next video because if i will summarize everything everything will be kept in one video means the video will be very large and it may be difficult for you to understand so for now understand what are the things present in a box okay so one thing i could not show it here you this one is a pollen a mistake like forgot so i will send you the photo where pollen will be there here no picture is having the pollen leave it i will show you in the next video okay thank you for watching if any kind of doubt is there then ask